Okay, folks, uh, it appears Wildcard has changed the way we access and use custom cosmetics, which, let me tell you, threw me for a total loop when I started building earlier and all of a sudden could not find my custom cosmetics. So let's take a quick look at how we now access all of our custom cosmetics. So I've just set up a little foundation and wall here to kind of use for this demo. First thing you're going to do is go into your inventory and just like before, you're going to go over to the cosmetics tab. But now, instead of kind of seeing stuff over here and having the uh, little eyeball to go to your custom cosmetics, we now have this newer menu over here on the right. There are two tabs, item cosmetics and create cosmetics. So down here is a filter, so you can kind of filter it by different types. But if you're looking for custom cosmetics that you have downloaded, you're going to come over here to where it says create cosmetics, not the, the most intuitive choice. And first you're going to see any unlocked cosmetics. These are apparently some things from like the, uh, the Frontier Pack, the Steampunk Pack, uh, all of those good things. And then right below it is going to be your custom cosmetics. Now these are the ones that you have downloaded from the mod store that are not part of the base game itself. And the one thing that they changed that I actually do like is they organize them into folders according to the particular mod that you have. So before you just had every single option from every single custom cosmetic all on one screen. Now they are organized a little more neatly into folders, which can make it a little easier to find what you're looking for. So I'm going to come in here. This is my modern skins, I believe. And I'm just going to double click on that to open it up. And here are all of those skins. Now if I want to see that a little bigger, I can expand this window to see a little more. And if I want to shrink it down, that's going to shrink it down for me. So let's go ahead and I'm going to grab the planks and I'm going to drag it over here to the cosmetics menu. Now what confused me at first, you drag it over there and nothing happens. You would think if you're pulling it over here, it's going to appear on this menu, but it does not. If I go over here to item cosmetics, now I have that and I can grab that and I can skin whatever it is that I want. So now I'm going to go back into cosmetics. Here in item cosmetics, I see this. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. And then I'm going to go back in here to create cosmetics. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead back in here. I'm going to grab a window skin and pop that there. And again, just back to item cosmetics. And now we have that right there. So once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. It's just very confusing when we're used to doing it one way and all of a sudden it's a completely different way. So again, steampunk stuff is over here, and I can grab that and pull that in. And again, now that should be, oh no, it didn't like that. Did that one go in my inventory because it's one of the built-in packs? Nope. So who knows where that one went. Let's try that one again. Uh, steampunk. Do I, ah, so for the arc made ones, the ones that are kind of part of the expansion packs and base game, you just select them from there instead of dragging them like your other custom cosmetics. So, hey, yet another layer of confusingness to this, but hopefully this makes it a little bit easier for you to find those custom cosmetics now. Hope this helps and hope they don't change it again.